It's time for RSM, the Ram Sports Magazine Show on Northern Colorado 5. Hey there, Rams fans, and welcome back for another exciting episode of Ram Sports Magazine. I'm Spencer Tillis, and I'll be your host. Both the football and volleyball teams were in action this weekend. Our first stop takes us to see how the football team when North Dakota State came into town. One week after taking down CU in the Rocky Mountain Showdown, the Rams were back at it for their home opener hosting the North Dakota State Bison. Early in the first half, the Rams got things going as Garrett Grayson hooked up with tight end Crockett Gilmore for this 69-yard catch and scamper for a CSU touchdown. The home crowd was going absolutely crazy, but that would be about the only thing they had to cheer for on the day as it was all Bison from there. With the first half winding down, the Bison flushed Grayson from the pocket and throwing against his body, he was picked off by Marcus Williams and he would return it to midfield with a minute and a half remaining. On third and ten, Brock Jensen would connect with Trevor Gebhardt for this nice catch over two defenders for a 23-yard pickup, setting up a last-second field goal for the Bison. Kicker Adam Keller would knock it through for North Dakota State, and they would take a 19-7 lead heading into half. The Rams couldn't get anything going in the second half, and the Bison would walk away with their sixth straight win against a Division I 1A school. Head coach Jim McElwain was disappointed with the way his team performed. Guys, obviously, you know, I mean, everybody watched the game. That was, uh, we lost all three phases. We lost the uh, line of scrimmage, um, third down, ball, ball control, uh, time of possession. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that really what you, what you learn from these things is, is really tells you who you are. And sometimes in life, you know, you maybe didn't put what you needed to and the result is just what happened. And, uh, you know, those are lessons. Those are lessons. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm disappointed for our fans, disappointed for our student body, disappointed for our faculty, because uh, we didn't play the way uh, I expect us to play. And uh, so really, from here, it's what you learn from. It's really what you learn from it. But the players feel the problem started earlier in the week in their preparation at practice. We didn't have the best week of practice. I think we kind of all got excited about what we had done last Saturday, and we were still kind of focused on that maybe. I don't, I don't really know, but I do know we didn't have the best week of practice that we've had. I felt like going into CU was way better practice as a team um, than we had going into this week. But, you know, we, didn't, we tried to tell each other as much as we can not to overlook these guys. They're, the D1 AA National Champions, you know, they're not, they're not coming here to lose, so they were well coached football team that showed tonight. Well, we didn't have the practices we wanted to have. Um, and, you know, whatever it was, you know, we can't, we can't let it happen again this week. Um, and we just got to move forward and get ready for this week coming up. We didn't have a very good week of practice, and that was evident uh, early on. So I think uh, lack of preparation, I think. Um, they just flat out beat us today. They, were, they played better. They were the better team today. Coach Mack felt that even though his team lost, they showed the culture change that he has been trying to install here with the Rams. I will tell you this. I did not not get the sense of afterwards that they were like, uh, you know, who cares? You know, there, there was some hurt and there was some grieving. And there should have been. And that's now what caused that hurt and what can I do to remedy that hurt. That's where I see where we're at right now. I'd say frustrating, yes. I would say it hurt. It really hurt. It hurt down inside. Um, driving home from the stadium and knowing that, you know, the look in their face, the, you know, it hurt. I mean, I, I'm not lying, you know, shoot, I, it hurt. And, and uh, 
when you see the discomfort of others, your fans, your administration, your colleagues, your coaches, your players, you know, obviously that's a lesson that I did not do a good enough job teaching. All right, Rams fans, we're going to go ahead and take our first quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere because on the other side, we're going to check in with the CSU football team as they prepare for their weekend's game against San Jose State. You're watching the Rams Sports Magazine Show on Northern Colorado 5. 